Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate quickly how you create a transparent texture with a background um, of another type. That's something that um, I have not been able to figure out for some reason. So I'm going through one of my levels here. So here's something I just added. It's transparent, looks into a different room, which is a different type of uh, um, you know, transparency you could add. I mean, same transparency, but just a different application. So let's go over here and check out this guy right here. So as you can see, um, if you look at the map here, this is about, I think it's one, one world unit. And uh, it's very, very narrow. So I created it originally to be larger, and then I made it much more, the depth uh, much less, or much more shallow, rather. Because if you look at it, you can see that there's really only that much depth to it. And that's really all you want. You don't want too much, or it starts looking a little funky. Um, and so now we're going to add a solid, whatever pattern we want as the background pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got one that in mind that I like. So I'm uh, holding down the microphone key and hitting the um, forward or reverse uh, weapons key to select different collections down here in the bottom. See how they change? And there's my pattern. So now I'm gonna, holding the microphone key down. I'm going to press the trigger to advance this and I'm going to select the pattern I want and there it is so if we back up it looks pretty nice so now we want to add the transparent piece to the front and this is the part that I could never figure out um, and I only recently figured out that in visual mode there's a whole another set of things you can do if you have the map up which never occurred to me to even try so I was banging my head against the wall but um, so if you hit the map here um, and now you hit uh, you know microphone or no, I'm sorry, you don't even have to hit microphone. But if you hit microphone, you can see there are actually other options too. Um, but about pa editing panels and whether it snaps to a grid or not. Um, but what we want to do is, now that we're in microphone mode, you can see under the grenade launcher, it says solid. I'm going to switch that to transparent. So if you go back and forth, you can see I'm switching between solid and transparent using a grenade launcher, which in my case is the space bar. <coughs> I'm going to leave it as transparent get out of map mode, and now I'm going to select a different texture that I want to apply. Okay, so any texture that has a large solid black area is transparent. I learned that yesterday, or the day before yesterday, uh, from a comment from someone on one of my maps in a review. Um, I had no idea. I just thought these were, you know, areas that it was just a different type of design. I didn't know it was meant to be transparent. So um, having said that, now I've selected this area. You can see that's got a lot of large black areas. So those, that's meant to be used for transparency, apparently. So I'm going to go in here now, and I'm going to apply it. I'm very close to it when I apply it. And there you go. Now let's back up and look. Pretty cool, huh? Now the reason I'm very close is because this is a kind of a, a closer-knit hallway. And if I try and apply it from here, it'll actually apply it here instead. <laughs> I was going crazy when I was first using this because I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, so... So now we have that, and um, I'm gonna. I just want to show you one other thing. So let's say we come back to this at another point. We want to edit it. Well, how do we know what to edit? <clears throat> so the first thing I do is try a copy, and this is just because I don't want to go into map mode just to check to see what I'm doing and all that stuff. I'm lazy. So if I go um, here and I hit copy, it's gonna select. And you can see down the bottom with the textures, it selected the transparent panel. That means you're in transparent mode. So if you want to enable or change that background, you have to be in solid mode first. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, map mode. And you can see it says transparent. We're going to hit the grenade launcher to change that to be solid. I'm going to get out of map mode. Now, and don't hit it now because you'll totally confuse yourself. You'll have two of the same patterns, one transparent, one not which I've done, I've pretty much done every mistake you can make in learning this, so that was a tricky one. When I did that, I couldn't figure out what I was doing. But, um, so now I'm going to switch to a different pattern. No, we want the solid, so we're going for the background, sorry. So let's pick a different background. I'll pick this. Um, yeah, not great, but hey, so uh, we're still in solid mode, so we don't have to do anything else. So let's go back and change, select something else. Now, one of the things that was kind of fun was... Um, you could select, you know, something like a, a lip, what appears to be a liquid, 
and you can make it pulsate or wobble or something like that. So that's kind of liquid like. So if I wanted to go in here and um, select that to pulsate again, another thing you have to do with map mode up, which these are the functions that totally eluded me every time someone mentioned them. I was like, well, how do you do that? So you hit map mode. And um, now if you hold down, <coughs> excuse me, your mic, um, now you see something that says transfer plus and transfer minus for the various uh, previous and next weapons. Those transfer modes refer to different effects you can apply to, to things like solids. In this case, it, it makes more sense to apply it to a solid that looks like a liquid, but you can do it to any solid. So I'm just going to go, as I hit it, you'll see that those choices change. Now it's saying V-slide is vertical slide. That's fast horizontal slide. That's horizontal slide. I don't know what that one is. Wobble is fast wobble, means it just kind of wobbles weird, like it's shaking. That's normal speed wobble. Um, I'm going to pick pulsate because I think that looks pretty cool for something like this. And then get out of map mode and hit apply. And then back up and look at it. Now that's kind of cool. <clears throat> One of the things I like too, and it'll stay in this mode until you change it, by the way, and I'm going to demonstrate that. So let's use something with lava because I'm a big lava fan. So, oops. <clears throat> Okay, so now if you go back, that's pretty cool. But <clears throat> let's say we go to a different wall to do something completely different. Now it's back to normal, just because I copied that and applied it. So sometimes if I want to reset things, I'll go to a wall that I don't really intend to change. I'll copy it and I'll paste it, which is really just apply. And then, uh, you know, it doesn't change anything, but it allows you to get out of that mode. So again, we're here looking at this, which is kind of cool. Although, I have to say, I really like the uh, original one I had. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into map mode. It's in solid now, which is the what we want. <coughs> and you'll see that uh, it's also um, in transfer mode. It's also in normal. So let's go ahead and um, select that original one I had, which I, I kind of, you know, I kind of liked. So let's go ahead, get out of map mode here. Let's go find the one that I originally liked. And uh, we'll apply that. And look at that. Did not like that. So I did something wrong. So let's figure this out. Ah, see up top there? It says static. We don't want static. So we want to go in, in menu or map mode and hold down the microphone key and change those um, the options for different states you can apply to a solid to normal there it is get out of there bang and look at that I even made a mistake and was able to show you how to diagnose it and that's all there is to it folks um, I hope this is helpful to people as a noob a total noob when people comment on things I do, I think they think that I did it on purpose and I have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this I figured out completely by mistake and it's only because I knew about the transfer mode. So I figured, oh, well, if transfer mode does it, maybe if I apply, go to map mode, maybe I can figure out how to do transparent, um, you know, as well. And bingo, that's where it was hiding. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it, it helps.